Well, hello again, and thank you so much for viewing my video. This is Dr. Tuesday Tate, your vision coach and life advisor. Wanted to finish up a teaching I had started on vision, on vision. And one of the things I said was before you can even create a vision board, you need a vision statement. So what is a vision? You have purpose. You have a purpose statement. You have, which is what am I here for? You have a mission statement, which says, how am I going to do what it is that I'm here for? And then you have a vision statement. What and how do I desire for people to see me or my business or my ministry or my church? How do I want the world to see me? When they think of your business, what do you want people to know? and to see about you. When they think of you, if you are your brand, what do you want people to see and to think about you? When you walk in a room, this is what they're saying. Oh, that's because they know this vision that you have. Not just your purpose, but what you are known as. What are you identified as? And certainly some of what th this kind of crosses a little bit in identifying purpose as well as solidifying a brand. But vision does not see you where you're at today. Vision sees you where you will be, where you're going. For example, my ministry is T Tape Ministries International. Well, up until last year, 2015, I had not ministered internationally. Now, someone could say, well, your videos have gone internationally. You've had a prayer line where people were calling in from all over the world, or they would call back in and listen to the recordings of the prayers and submit their prayer requests and things like that from all over the world. So it was international, but as far as me entering international airspace and going in and, and having my ministry go abroad, that did not happen until 2015. Though the ministry was to T Tape Ministries International. My coaching and speaking and training company, Vision Focus Group Worldwide. Now, because my clients can be connected via the internet or however I connect with them, it's worldwide. But what do I want to be? seen as? What do I want to be known as? My brand is Dr. Tuesday, the vision coach when it comes to business. But in ministry, I am Dr. Tuesday, the prophetic teacher. But when I think of a vision statement, less than 10 words, you should have between five and 10 words. How do you communicate the vision? of where you see your company going today, though it may not be there today, but where do you see it going? And you see it today from this perspective with three cents in the, your, your business bank. You see it. With one client or no clients, you see it. For this is the vision that I have. And a vision must be written. It is not a vision that is recorded, concise, portable, repeatable, and sustainable. If it does not have those five, it's an idea. It's a dream. And so you need to create a vision statement that has those five components in it. And so T Tape Ministries is may not be that yet. XYZ company is, may not be that yet, but we will be known as, this is how we are known. The first part of your vision statement says we will be known as. Now that's when you're writing it, but once you solidified it, solidified it this is who we are. XYZ corporation is. While you're creating it, we will be known as. So you can start taking those words, those words, remember I said, as they're being downloaded, taking those words and creating a sentence, five to 10 words. If you can get five words, that's perfect. 
10 almost becomes a paragraph, but you need to be quick in being able to communicate the vision that you have. Then based on that vision, whether it's for your business, for your life, for your ministry, for your family, for your marriage, whatever it is, once you've created that, then you go and create a vision board because a vision board is more than just pictures and words. It should communicate a message. When someone looks at your vision board, they should know, ah, that's what she's all about. That's what he's all about. That's what they're seeking to achieve in their life. That's where they want their business to go. That's where they want their ministry to go. When you're creating a vision statement, it should align with your vision board. Show just a little bit, a little bit of something on how to create a vision statement and then seeking to create a vision board that creates for you a way to look at it every day. And as you begin to, to achieve things, oh, I've done that. I've done that conference. I've done this. I've done that. And as you start to create these things, your vision board should literally come alive. It is not something that should have pretty pictures on it, that you are not seeing things come to pass from. On my vision board is Africa. On my vision board is my business conference, has been there for years. The other thing you need to understand about vision, it waits an appointed time. Everything on your vision board will not happen overnight. Some things will and some things won't. What you have to remember is do the work. Do the work that is necessary for the vision to manifest. Prepare now for what will be destined to happen later because you have dreamed it. You have declared it, you have written it, and you have made it plain. Now, before you can give it to someone else to run with it, you're going to have to run with it by yourself for a little bit of time and then watch other people come alongside to help you bring it to pass. I hope you learned something today about vision. Again, this is Dr. Tuesday Tate, your vision coach and life advisor. We hope to see you at the Epic Conference on April the 16th at the Martin House Lilly Convention Center, Conference Center here in Indianapolis off of 80 West 86th Street. I look forward to seeing you. Be sure to register. Click on that and register. And remember, again, there's early registration right now and it's a great opportunity for you to get involved in something and take your vision Create your vision, identify your purpose, and move forward with a business consultant, a social media branding person, a finance person, a leadership person, and a health and fitness person. Because while we're trying to run this race to achieve all these goals and success, we need to be healthy. I look forward to seeing you on April the 16th. You have a great day. Thank you for receiving me. God bless.